Good Friday morning, Patrick Henry. Welcome to Friday morning meeting. And I'm so glad that you're here and we hope that you will enjoy our presentations today. First off, we have our fifth grade speaker, Benny Ralston, and he has our VIP for us. I will be back when he's finished to read our conscious for the week. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, students, parents, teachers, and staff. My name is Benny Ralston, and today I'm here to talk to you about heroes. A hero is someone who is admired for their courage and self-sacrifice for the greater good. To me, a hero is someone who saves lives and does amazing things, not for the fame and fortune, but to help make a lasting positive impact. I'd like to discuss heroes on three different levels, global heroes, community helpers, and my personal hero. On a global level, researchers and scientists like Dr. Anthony Fauci are the heroes who created a COVID-19 vaccine in under one year. The pandemic resulted in global cooperation for vaccine research and development and distribution. Today, nearly 40 million Americans have been fully vaccinated and about 85 million people worldwide. Community helpers are the heroes on the front line. These essential workers like nurses and EMTs are making extraordinary sacrifices to care for those that have been affected by the virus. They are risking their own lives for the greater good. Teachers have taken on the challenge of teaching virtually and using new technology to keep us engaged in our remote learning. They are heroes who are making a difference every day in our communities. A big thanks goes to Pastor Henry, teachers and staff. My personal hero is my grandmother, Janet Ralston. We call her Jamie. She has made over 700 masks for frontline workers during the first part of quarantine. This was when personal protective equipment was not available to essential workers, and they still had to keep working and risking their lives. She has helped me with school and has taught me how to paint with watercolors. I look forward to our time together and love to learn from her. She is a wonderful role model and helper. In the words of Mr. Rogers, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helpers. These helpers are also our heroes. Thank you, Benny. That was a wonderful job, and those words were so heartfelt. Mr. Burke, thank you again for helping our fifth graders with their speeches. We love what you do every week, and we use those words to carry us through our week as we go. So great lessons, great teaching, fifth graders, and Benny, wonderful job. All right, on to Kachas for the week. This is from Miss Schwartz in fourth grade. And she is recognizing Simone Robinson, first of all. She has started to volunteer to read, and she's doing an excellent job sharing that with all of her classmates. So she's getting more and more enthusiastic about learning and participating every day. Good job, Simone. Michaela Ageman has been working very hard to participate this week. So, Michaela, that is so important because when you participate, then your classmates can learn from you as well. So thank you for sharing uh, with your classmates. And Ms. Schwartz wants you to know, both of you ladies, that she is so very, very proud of you both. These are from Ms. Flanagan in third grade. She would like to recognize Etta and Riley for being so eager to read Trumpet of the Swan and for making everyone so excited about the book. Vivian, Kaylee, Angelo, Brandon Cole for working so hard together um, during a virtual partner activity. And you guys uh, were a team and you worked together and Ms. Flanagan is so proud of you all. Aria, Ms. Flanagan is recognizing you for completing all of your homework assignments this quarter. Wow, that is amazing. Good work, Aria. Thank you for that. Milan, for being so eager to compete, I'm sorry, to complete the morning work. <clears throat> Milan, thank you for coming right in and getting right down, down to business and doing your job. You are amazing. Thank you to those teachers for those coaches this week. 
I have one special announcement today. <clears throat> PHSSA PTA wishes to congratulate second grader Nija Caleb and fourth grader Beatrix Power for their work in this year's Reflections Contest. We announced last fall that these two students' artwork went on to represent Patrick Henry at the district level, which is made up of counties all around Richmond City. We are very proud to announce that Nija and Beatrix were both awarded first place in their categories at district and both went on to compete at the state level. This year, the, the contest theme was I Matter Because. Nija made a painting titled I matter because I work hard. And Beatrix made a stop animation video titled Big Dreams. Beatrix video received third place in her category out of all participating Virginia schools. We would like to congratulate both students on their amazing work and for making this a great year for our contest, especially under such unusual circumstances. For those of you students interested in participating in the Reflections Contest, Next school year, put your thinking caps on now because the theme is going to be, I will change the world by. So start thinking about how you all can enter the Reflections Contest next year with the theme, I will change the world by, and then you can finish it off. Great job representing uh, Patrick Henry, Henry, Nija, and Beatrix. Uh, we are so proud of you both. Thank you, PTA, for once again sponsoring this contest for all of us. And those are all of our coaches for the week. I would like to send you all off with uh, best wishes for a wonderful weekend. And we will see you at school on Monday. Thank you all. Take care. Bye-bye.